let's talk about the music. The music video pick of the week. Quite, Quite cool. cold. And they're going to be on the show next month. Not next month. Two months. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, as in two months, it's in three months. I'm, well, I'm three months ahead of myself here. July, uh, September 20th, they're going to be on the show. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's still going to be July in a few days. Yeah, it, it's really taken me by surprise. I didn't expect time to go by that quickly. So, July, August, yeah, in two months, quite cold right here. Get excited, <laughs> everybody. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm more excited. <laughs> I, I see. I, I've been, see, okay, so Quiet Cold, I found them on musicsubmit.com a long time ago, way before, probably right when the show just started, and um, I, you know, I just, they're just awesome, I mean, Todd, <laughs> Todd I, I didn't even know what these things are called, I call them a teaser, but actually, that guy, I guess they're called, um, they are called Station IDs, who knew, and... And Todd did this one for me for Quiet Coal, so hang on a minute, I'll play this one for you guys. Hi, this is Todd from The Quiet Coal, based out of Anchorage, Alaska, and you are listening to Let's Talk About the Music. So all the guys, is music, uh, every musician I've been getting from Summit.com, or my friends, who's been doing my station IEDs, and it's pretty awesome! I'm stoked about it. I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I'm excited. Very, very excited. And... And you know what else is coming on the show in August? I'm, I guess we're, we're going to talk about what's coming. I'm excited. I'm too. I'm too much ahead of myself here. Do you want to talk about something else before? Our, instead of the other <laughs> no, no, no. Let's get right into it. Let's let's not leave people in suspense. Why? There's another website. Let's talk about the music dot com and check out the posters are made. Every single poster for our next two months is made. <gasps> That's the best news I've heard all day. <laughs> I'll have to make me, make me a sticky note. <laughs> <laughs> the only posters not on there is Johnny Reed, the Johnny Reed show. Um, I emailed him. Hey, do you have a better picture that I'm finding on the internet? So hopefully he'll get back to me and we'll get his poster up. By, but he's going to be in August 10th. So I guess we can go ahead and talk about what's in August and in July. No, we already talked about July. August. Oh, my heavens. August. August 3rd. We have from New York, spells and curses. New York, New York. And we'll be playing a little bit of their old music and their brand new EP. <gasps> That's the best news I've heard all day. <laughs> I just emailed Arnold today showing them the poster that I made for them. They thought it was the most exciting thing they ever saw in the whole entire world. <laughs> and um, they're still getting their EP downloaded so they're actually still trying to finish it and everything up but it should, should be ready and they are playing exclusively here on um, let's talk about the music yes exclusive i love the music. oh my god i feel like i i'm like this whole special person in the whole white world then again it kind of helps you yeah i have my own podcast <laughs> 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 and then I have two bands back to back. They're actually the solo artists back to back. One is classic. He's an 18 year old African American black man from uh, New York City, and he we're going to be talking about something with a contract. He's okay with it because we talked about this first. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we're going to talk about African American in the music industry see how he's adapting to that um also we're going to talk about african pop which is i kind of told him that i have african pop on my on the show i never knew it existed until the show until i made this show so this show is kind of teaching me something too and so he's all excited about that the show is teaching me something <laughs> But he's 18, he just graduated from high school, and I saw his graduation pictures, and I'm like so stoked to have him on the show. And then right after that, we have Christine Faulkner, who is a big sensation down there in California. And she's been playing with some really uh, big names down there, so I told her, I was in juicy detail. She goes, ooh, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> So those are two days in August, and then August 24th is my birthday, is the day before my birthday, and we're going to have a birthday 
show with Maximus. Maximus is going to be returning. Which they only have two songs. So yeah, I, I noticed that. I've been trying to like look around and see if they have anything else because, you know, I always like to get a huge collection of good stuff. Me too. So I'm gonna have the, I'm gonna go half to who harass Blackie, on and say, okay, you guys gonna have anything else for me to play besides these two songs? Really? Seriously? <laughs> because otherwise, it's just like, uh, I'll have the ass. Chris from Winter's End to come back on the show too, make a big old celebration. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, anyway, that's 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 all in August, and then there's no show on August 31st whatsoever because I'm going to be on t- out of town the day after I leave for Fairy World, and I will be there until Monday. So there's not going to be a, a music, there's not going to be a any midday music break either on Monday because I'm not going to be back in town till like Monday night, Tuesday. Well, you know, you got to go out and get some kicks sometimes, right? Yeah, yeah. So if anyone's down in Portland, Oregon, or you want to guys want to Google mysticworlds.com um, and you'll find me somewhere because I have, my, my thing as a pixie is that I don't sit still no longer than 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just but I can sit still sort of kind of <laughs> well see you know I, I'm i not able to see you right now so I can't verify that you're sitting still right now you might be bouncing all over the place right now yeah I'm going back and forth between, on my seat right now but I'm trying stay put but anyway but that, that's the thing <laughs> and, plus, uh, and also if you find me and you catch me I'll give you a hug or, a, or I'll give you a stamp on the hand because I have stamps now so Something fun to do, but yeah, you gotta find me. And uh, Zerp will playing somewhere. I don't know what this, the schedule is, and then I'll try to. I have to ask him first if I can play the play uh, live, but I probably won't. But you never know; that could be happening. So anyway, that's August, and then September. I just feel September like last night. Let's see if I can remember the top of my head who's on September. September 7th, we got Rebel Man. Yeah. They're, te- they're teenage brothers. The 14th, we have two powerhouse bands from Seattle. Strangely Alright and uh, Sleepy Pilot. The reason why they're both bands together is because they have the exact same members in each band. Okay, you put them together. Why the hell not, you know? And then on the 21st of September, we will have um, the Quite K- uh, Cole, come on, from Alaska. Then 28th, 28th, oh my god, United Pass is coming on the air. And I've been <laughs> waiting since September to bring these guys on the show to have this conversation with them. Also from New York, too. They have very, 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 very big names in this band and we'll have to hopefully talk, I'm hoping to talk the whole entire band, but they have a very high credentials members and that's going to be something exciting to hear about oh, how they got together because wow, it's a lot it's a lot of big names right there. Anyway that is August and September shows and now I'm done rambling about how excited I am for all these shows <laughs> Well, how excited are you? Oh, I'm so excited. That's the best thing I heard all day. <laughs> we got to get that bit. <laughs> oh, when was it? When, when was uh, Zero Session on? We've been telling ourselves we have to get that bit. <laughs> <laughs> we should have them back on sometime. Like, we should have Mots back on with Sean. And you kidding me? It's, it, it, it's Sean from Maximus. Sean from a serious session is going to, and you are going to be on July twenty seventh. So I'm we'll see. Sure. We'll have to get Mots to call in too, so Mots can be in there with us. I will bug. <laughs> I will bug Sean because Sean from Maximus wants a Blackie on too. Why don't we everyone just change it to twenty fourth on my birthday and have the twenty seventh open to somebody else? I mean, seriously, <laughs> that should be my birthday show right there, <laughs> right there. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Yeah, anyone musicians who are listening in who's following the show are allowed to come back on the show on the 24th of August because it's my birthday. I should make it a I should make it a known thing. It's my birthday party. Just everyone show up. <laughs> I want cake. She wants to party hard. So oh, anybody who wants to party hard, let's party hard. Yes. And if anything goes wrong behind the scenes because, well, it's my birthday and I can drink if I want to. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anything else exciting that in the music world besides anything? Well, hmm, let me think about music news and see if there's anything else that I heard that was going on today. Um <clears throat> Been overall kind of a slow day as far yeah. as music news goes. I mean, the big thing, of course, was the the thing about Europe. So, you know, not a whole lot else going on behind that because everybody's all worried about that. So, all the other good news is kind of being downplayed. But let's see. <laughs> let's I see. Going to, I was going to look at how meatloaf is doing. <laughs> I, put me, I put out meatloaf and got the meatloaf recipe. <laughs> We'll see. I mean, he must not have been doing okay. I guess they had to make a recipe out of him. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, it was just going to be like I was expecting to see meatloaf dish. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> way, you got to be more specific what you're looking for. <laughs> okay, anyway, what now? Well, let me. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of propping for, for some organizations from out in my neck of the woods here just to kind of give them some heads up just you know this is a couple freebies on my part they don't know i'm doing it so they couldn't do the the boost but uh <gasps> Go for it. i just figured i'd point them out because it's interesting um if you're anywhere near ohio there's a group on facebook called ohio music scene and they share a bunch of stuff about a bunch of different bands that play in the state all over the place um a lot of these bands, I, I haven't seen most of them because I don't get out as much as I used to, but some of the bands that I used to play with or around in Pennsylvania play in Ohio quite a bit also, and they, th- you can find them on the Ohio Music Scene page. And if you're local to this area and you want to know what the scene is, check them out. They, do, uh, they deal with metal, they deal with hip-hop, they deal with all kinds of stuff that's going on out here. So it's not just a particular kind of music, although metal tends to be kind of the dominant thing in my area of Ohio. Metal and hip-hop are the two biggest things here. So don't be surprised if you see more of that than anything else. But there's a little bit of something for everybody. Ohio music scene. Check them out on Facebook. Like I said, they don't know that I'm giving them props, and I'm probably going to tell them tomorrow, Hey guys, I propped you on my show. Hey. So, you know, hi guys. If yeah. you come back, listen. <laughs> yeah, get them on musicsummit.com so we can get them on the show. Oh, yeah, because then I, they'll, they can probably give us all kinds of information on, on organization and promoting because they're basically a, a free.